What's up guys? I'm Matt Ogus and this is a full day of cutting eating. So for breakfast, lately I've been doing a breakfast shake. Start off with one full shaker cup of water. Five grams of creatine monohydrate. One and a half scoops of whey protein. 30 grams of oats. One serving or 140 grams of a frozen mixed berry medley. One half of a banana, usually around 60 to 80 grams. The other half I put it into a baggie, freeze it, and use it on the next shake. I'll throw in a shot or two of apple cider vinegar, so that means about 15 to 30 milliliters or so. And my favorite part, 100 grams of kale. Oh, and don't forget, three grams of fish oil. No, these don't go in the shake. I just make sure to swallow these when I'm drinking them. But the real question is, will it blend? So for that meal, we're looking at eight grams of fat, 68 carbs, and 55 grams of protein. Think about 14 grams of fiber, and just tons and tons of vitamins. So far, I hit about 555 calories. This is my pre-workout meal. So about an hour from now, I'll go to the gym. All right, guys, I am ready to go to the gym, but I'm gonna plan my post-workout meal first. Got a Tupperware right here. I'm gonna have one Quaker apple and cinnamon rice cake, one of the chocolate crunch rice cakes, one caramel corn rice cake, and one white cheddar rice cake. What I do is I take each rice cake and break it into about six to eight pieces. Put the top on, boom, and I put this in the passenger seat of my car so that when I'm on the way home, I'm gonna have two scoops of a whey protein shake and then reach to my right and snack on these rice cakes as I drive home. Rice cake and protein shake post-workout meal. Three grams of fat, 51 carbs, 52 grams of protein. Rise, 
Workout. There's my rice cakes. There's my protein shake. Driving home, baby. Guess where I'm at, guys. That's right, man. That's right. All right, guys. We are back from the gym. It's time for meal three. My Chipotle meal. First things first. We need spinach. 120 grams of spinach. Usually, I'm not actually weighing the vegetables. I kind of have a good eye for it. Anywhere between 80 and 120 grams of spinach is cool with me. Next up, baby spring mix. 80 grams of baby spring mix. Once again, honestly, anything between 50 and 80 grams is cool with me. All right, 125 grams of baby cut carrots, the little carrots. Boom! All right, about five ounces of white mushroom. Once again, honestly, anywhere between three and six ounces of mushrooms, cool with me. All right, next up, about 100 grams of cherub tomatoes. And that's about 100. Last ingredient of the salad, guys, is gonna be about 20 milliliters of balsamic vinegar. Salad's done, it's time for the Chipotle. What I like to do is either mentally or actually weigh the Chipotle burrito bowl. And based on how much it weighs, and how much I know one real burrito bowl with the ingredients that I use should weigh based on the nutrition website of Chipotle, I can decide if this is one Chipotle burrito bowl or up to maybe 1.6 Chipotle burrito bowls. This one, in my hands, it feels like a 1.2 Five. From here, I'll try to scrape some of the lettuce off and some of the salsa off and put this in the microwave for about two minutes. While my bowl is in the microwave heating up, pro tip time, I take a full head of romaine lettuce and I'll add this to the bowl, just like so. This right here weighs about 150 grams of romaine lettuce right here. This number is gonna vary depending on whichever head of romaine lettuce you pick. Once again, we're talking about lettuce. So if the weight measurement is not exactly precise, probably doesn't really matter. Actually, I lied, this is about 130 grams. It's 150 because I added water and washed it. So now look at how much Chipotle burrito bowl we already have from just the romaine lettuce before we even add the burrito bowl. Burrito bowl just came out of the microwave. It's nice and hot. Pop it on top and simply mix it up. More Chipotle pro tips. Try adding some lime juice. I like lots of lime juice. You'll probably be able to find lime juice at your grocery store, but if you can't find it, just cutting open and squeezing a lime can probably do just as much. Also, pro tip, sprinkle on some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And I had a lot of this. I just ran out of lime juice, so I'm gonna squeeze some lime right on top. Now by default, eating food that you didn't prepare at home isn't going to be as precise or accurate as knowing exactly how much of each ingredient is inside of it. But as you can see, I am doing pretty good with this sort of guesstimation. Mix it all up, add even more Frank's Red Hot as desired. Go ahead and toss the salad a little bit. For a nice, enjoyable beverage, I'll have some Diet A&W root beer a nice mason jar of it. Pro tip, some of your favorite sodas and diet sodas have caffeine in it, so be aware of that. Diet a w root beer does not have caffeine. Pro tip, Diet Mountain Dew does have caffeine. So just be mindful of which sodas you're drinking and when, especially if you've been having trouble sleeping. There we have it, guys. This is my meal number three. Extremely voluminous. Around a thousand calories, give or take. Extremely satisfying. All right guys, so for this meal right here, it says 28 grams of fat, 153 carbs, about 79 grams of protein. Now if you know Chipotle, they don't usually up your protein, even though you may get a larger burrito or burrito bowl full of more beans and rice. 
So I'm probably gonna keep a mental note that this is more like actually 60 grams of protein and 20 more carbs than the 150 that it says. So in other words, I'm actually looking at around 28 grams of fat, 173 carbs, and about 60 grams of protein. Now fortunately, there's the same amount of calories in a gram of protein as there is in a gram of carbs, and this is gonna be helpful as you'll see later. Time to dig in. Mm. Alright guys, last meal of the day. From here, all I'm trying to do is hit the total of the 225 gram protein and finish up my fitness pal at around 2750 calories. The interesting thing here is I'll go ahead and aim for that 2750 calories based on my fitness pal, but when I do the macros out, it actually equals out to about 2850 calories. That just goes to show that for some inputs of foods, the calories, the macros, are just a little bit off. So the more strict you are, like the deeper into a contest prep you are, the more you have to be careful for which inputs you're choosing. And just in general, the more aware you need to be. There's a good chance that even though I'm hitting 2750 calories right here as it says on my fitness pal, based on the macros of the inputs I've chosen, I very well could be consuming actually up to 2850. And the funny thing is, is that would be incredibly awesome if that's true. Because, in other words, I've actually been losing weight really well off 2850 calories. Granted, I am currently doing cardio about four times a week. I spent a week or two at three times a week, and a couple, two or three weeks at two times a week. Anyways, let's see what I'm eating. All right guys, meal four, last meal of the day. Starting off with six ounces of soy vanilla Greek yogurt. Six ounces of soy honey Greek yogurt. Last but not least, 400 grams of Faye Greek yogurt. Lately, I like to keep my fats anywhere between 45 and 65 grams. Today, I'm hitting about 60 grams of fat. So I'm going to need about 12 grams of almonds. And I buy almonds in bulk and I store it in a big protein jar. Pro tip, if you find yourself to be a hard gainer, quote unquote, um, stock up on almonds, stock up on dried fruits like raisins and whatnot, and a Greek yogurt meal, where you just have some Greek yogurt, almonds, dried fruits like raisins and craisins, super easy to consume. Also very delicious. My metabolic rate is so high. That should never be an excuse. There are people out there wishing they could eat as much food. And that's it guys, that's the last meal of the day. So guys, I'll let you do the math. I got about 59 grams of fat, 351 carbs, and about 226 grams of protein. It says here I hit 2,762 calories in my fitness pal. Do the math with those macros, that doesn't equal out to 2,762. If you're having trouble with fat loss, double check your inputs, make sure everything's correct, make sure the macros and the calories make sense for the different foods you chose. Sometimes you might have just used the wrong input, but perhaps the input you chose was created by some dude who doesn't even know what he's doing. And of course, the deeper you're into a cut, the closer competition is, the more serious it is, the more you want to be careful with your inputs. At the end of the day, tracking the macros themselves is probably the most accurate way to go. The way I try to hit protein and the calories is a little bit less accurate. The thing is, to work pretty damn well for me. So until this stops working, I ain't gonna fix what ain't broken. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my full day of cutting eating. If you're new to this channel, definitely make sure you subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Matt Ogus, Twitter at Matt Ogus, Snapchat at Ogus Fit. Pro tip, follow me on Snapchat because I'm basically the DJ Khaled of fitness. I drop all kinds of pro tips on a freaking daily basis. And so far everyone's been saying really good things about my Snapchat game. So I definitely recommend you follow me. Once again, Snapchat username, Focus Fit. I am going to eat this last meal of my day. This is me with like 2,200 calories in my belly. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I believe you guys are the shameless plug. You guys probably know Eric Helms. He teamed up with Andrea Valdez, Andy Morgan, 
and recently the three of them have released the ebooks for the muscle and strength pyramids. So we have the strength training pyramid and we have the nutrition pyramid. You might have seen the video series before, but basically this is the ebook version of those videos. You can honestly say that 90 or 95% of all the questions that I ever get is generally answered in these two ebooks. In other words, if you constantly find yourself asking Instagrammers, YouTubers, or fitness people questions on a regular basis, if you find that you're curious for the answers, for the truth, if you want to learn the fundamentals of training and nutrition, definitely check out this ebook. In the description box is a special link. If you click the link in my description box and check out these nutrition pyramids and end up buying it, I do receive a commission for it. That said, it's the same exact price nonetheless. Using my special affiliate link gives me a kickback and it doesn't change the price at all. Questions such as, Matt, how do I build muscle? Matt, high reps or low reps? Matt, what is volume? Matt, what is frequency? What is intensity? What kind of exercises should I be doing? How long should my rest periods be? How do I figure out my macros? How do I figure out my calories? How do I adjust my macros? How do I do cardio? What types of cardio? How much cardio? Matt, can you help me create a workout plan or a nutrition plan? Basically, if you have any or all of these questions, buy this book right now. I wish I had these books back when I started lifting because I didn't learn the knowledge that are in these books until I had been lifting for already four or five years. That means I trained for several years suboptimally. I would have significantly more gains right now had I had these books back when I was 16, 17, 18 years old. So instead of taking the route that I did where I slowly learned a little bit each year, learn everything you need to know right now. Now, I told a few people at the gym that I met today who were asking me questions about just everything, really. Um, I told them, look dude, you, you're telling me you're serious about fitness, nutrition, about growing. It sounds like you have tons of questions for me. Literally, the answer to all of your questions are in these ebooks. If you value your time, if you value my time, you're going to purchase these ebooks right now, today. I'm pretty sure the kid that I told today to do that went off and bought it. So once again guys, click the link in the description box or simply just go to OgusPyramid.com. Once again guys, click the link in the description box or just go straight to OgusPyramid.com. This is the resource that I wish I had years ago. And this is the resource that I'm recommending to every single person that I help out and answer questions for. Nowadays whenever I get a question, they're like, Matt, should you do high reps or low reps? I'll respond with, okay, I th uh, this, this, and this, it depends. This does this, this does this. By the way, you should probably get this ebook. Not just because I get a commission from this, but because I truly believe that for 99% of you watching this, the value of this ebook is easily at least 100 times its cost. So once again, guys, if you're serious about your nutrition, if you're serious about your training and maximizing your knowledge to maximize your gains, you are going to, I recommend it, you must get this ebook. Focuspyramid.com or click the link in the description box.